honor to meet two lovely secondary students who will ask to discuss with me about this topic. Then please warmly welcome the two special guests today. Hi, nice to meet you, Mr. Six. Hello, guys. Hi, nice to meet you too. Sit down, please. Great. Then can you introduce yourself to all the viewers? Yeah. So hello to our viewers. I'm the lovely 15 from Hoi An. And today I'm here with my fellow to give my words. And how about you? Oh, hello everyone. My name is Tan Tan Hui. I'm in grade 8 from Hoi An. Today I'm so glad to be here attending this talk show. And I'm also so glad to have you guys to be here today. So, first of all, let me ask you a couple of questions. Yeah? Do you have many friends at school? And how long have you and they played together? Yeah, actually I have quite a lot of friends, and, uh, including far away friends. I've been with some for quite a long time, like my best friends, 10 years. Well, as for me, the case is that I have a lot of good friends at my school, and we have been classmates for such a long time. So my friends and I have probably been hanging out for about four years. Well, it seems like you both have a really long-lasting friendship. Yeah. And then our topic today will definitely be suitable because it's called How to Maintain a Long-Lasting Friendship. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's interesting. As you probably know, good friends can enrich your life, boost your well-being, and of course, they can help you to change in a positive way. But people nowadays usually find it hard to maintain a long-term friendship. So, coming to the talk show today, are you willing to share your tips? Always yes. Then first, let's go to our little brother. And we, what are some ways that you think that people can do to maintain a long lasting friendship? Well, to keep this length of a friendship, I think one of the most important factors is to understand each other by friendly solutions of conflicts. Like, uh, we should open our mind and open our mind to the other friends. And we should spend time as much as possible together, like um, doing hobbies, singing, or something like that. But I think that's going to be difficult when we graduate in Italy. Like, students have to go to different, different universities, and so the distance are become significant. I think that we should also keep in touch with the others, make sure that we can connect with the others. Yeah, but it's easy now, but the communication is going better. Yeah, I agree. And furthermore, since we're not friends, we also need to protect and like, support them when they're having a hard time too. But for example, when one of your friends is having a problem, you can always be by his or her side to comfort them. And yeah, we should also try to avoid one-sided or self-centered friendships because those are not good, you know? Personally, I think that if we decide to have a long-lasting friendship with someone, we should, uh, we should accept all those negative feedback that they give, and as well as give them useful comments too. If we can base on that advice, we can get better, create new habits which are good, and we can change in a positive way. I think that in that case, our friendship are good. Right. Oh, and that is also an idea. Uh, one more thing I would like to add is that every long-lasting friendship always needs deep understanding. We have to know about our friends as much as we know about ourselves. And sharing and caring is also super necessary for an everlasting friendship because we all like to be loved by our friends, right? Yeah, so in order to do that, um, we should like we should know each other inside and out, don't we? Um, like the personal information should be shared between the friends and everything should be shared with lives about. But in that case, if we know so much about each other, like I'm say literally everything, that's gonna be uncomfortable. Um, so in that case, boundary should be important to me. Not to you? Well, boundary is like um manage to keep some privacy from the other friends. So that, uh, uh, for example, if one of my friends um, like use my phone without being friends, I will use. Oh, you are definitely right. Like, I used to have a friend just like that, and it drove me like almost crazy. Therefore, that's why I think limitation is also important in friendship. Well, great. It's an 
honor for me to be all your story today. And before the end of our show, I hope that in the future you guys take my more friends and especially, of course, long lasting friendship. Awesome, awesome. The end of our talk show right now. We hope that after this, you guys can be inspired to make a difference in your school. Thank you again, Queen, and we are adorable guys. And see you all again at 8 p.m. next Sunday on BTV1. Stay healthy and stay sweet. Okay, we'll see you guys
To me, it's the best to have just a few of us, really good friends. And B, how about you? Well, I just have a great details in my opinion. Many friends are just very really good, but for example, if you play with a lot of friends, you play with them a lot, you go to cafe, you go to restaurants, but then one time when you just a funny situation, you act funny and you ask them, your own first friend, they will not be the right, but so different, and it really is really good friend. They can, yeah, friend means friendly, they can stay at the side whenever you need. So I think that good friend is better than that. That's all I want to use. Thank you for your attention.